beach with a cover-up. And the cover-up got more attention than the swimsuit ever got, so it's just funny. So, um, you know, the cover-ups can get you in trouble. Oh, uh, another one which basically I read last night, an online swimsuit that gets wet can get you basically the lewd and lascivious. Oh, complaint. really? Yeah. Oh, an online swimsuit. An online swimsuit. So if you go into a suit, like, she's got a yellow swimsuit that basically he does transparent. But it is lined. I know, but it still turns completely transparent when you get it wet. But if you take that suit, which basically a lot of suits are not lined anymore. Really? A lot of swimsuits are no longer lined. So basically you get into that water and it turns transparent. They can give you a citation now for, there is the unlined swimsuit. Ah! Which also means, wait a minute, if you go out, let's say, you go out to the beach, can't find your swimsuit, you go out in a white t-shirt. Basically, it's a, it's now a violation of the, it's a technically a violation of, uh, of the laws in Los Angeles County. Even though you're covered. That's right. And Los Angeles County, basically, uh, the city law, supposedly the state laws supersede uh, city laws, city laws supersede county laws. That isn't the way it works anymore. Because it's got to do with whoever makes the complaint. You can make a complaint anywhere, about any time, about any... Okay, I can be wearing my, teeth, my shirt and my, and my pants here. That can be, they can lodge a complaint. Saying, well, you know, it, you know, it can be a stupid complaint, a frivolous complaint, it doesn't make any difference. You know, saying, well, a person his age should never be wearing anything like that. So, then it, it, it's frivolous, but then they have to act on the complaint. That's the way it works because they're, they want to make money now, and they're willing to do whatever they have to to make money. That, that, wow. I, I know. So part of it is you can't, here, you can fight um, indecent exposure. You can't yeah. go to court on it. Yeah, but, but here's it, part of it is, oh, go ahead. It says it's a minimum of $1,500 to fight the complaint. $1,500 is where you start. That's without the lawyer cost. Okay. And uh, most people fight, though, and the state picks up money. That's why they give citations, because the, mo the majority of the time on a swimsuit thing, they're going to let you off the hook. But you're going to cost you an arm and a leg to get off the hook. Mm -hmm. So in order to convict you of indecent exposure, they have to prove a couple points, is that you intentionally, and intentionally expose yourself or your private parts. Now, that doesn't mean you were at the swimming pool or you're at the water and somehow you're... Your trunks, trunks and the bottom comes off because girls when they dive off their side, their bottoms will come down. Yeah, so that's the, those are accidental. But you have to remember, if if you, you repeatedly do that and it keeps happening, yeah, they may not but consider if accidental. If you wear a suit that is considered too small, you are you knowingly violated the rules oh. because you know the suit does not cover as much of you. And we're going to show people, you know, what. You know, watch suits you really can't wear on the beaches, so, uh, but, um, uh, oh, go ahead. you know, it's just, it's just, like I said, those suits are definitely intended to have your butt shown and other parts show. You mean like this one suit I have? Yeah, it's definitely meant to show. Actually, this, ten, okay, ten years ago, this suit was perfectly acceptable everywhere. And part of you are going, what suit is that? Actually, if you've been watching, can I turn around or actually show? Well, you can, yeah, I mean, you can turn around and let her see it. Okay, now she turns back around again. But ten years ago, this suit was legal virtually anywhere in this country. Mm -hmm. And the micro bikini, which is the, the dental floss bikini that she has, was legal. Mm -hmm. But in the last ten years, I get, you know, they've been narrowly defined, narrowly, uh, uh, what was Tongas, micros, and... True and thongs and strings have outlaw, been basically outlawed on every beach. Every beach. Some of them specifically said it. Others have simply said that it, you know, we'll leave it up to the public to decide whether or not and they'll take it to you. The other things that the prosecutor has to show that you are doing is that you're either in a public area or in an area where other people were present or likely to be offended or annoyed. Yeah. Which basically is any any place on a public beach, mm -hmm. and that you did so with a specific intent to draw attention to your genitals, either for the purpose of sexually arousing yourself or another person, or for the purpose of sexually insulting 
or offending another person or other people. It's the offending bit. You can be, it could be a suit of any size, any nature, and if somebody says it's offensive. What you used to do before, also, where they would wound people? Yeah, that's a, that's a definite violation of the law. And, and uh, if you're going, what are you talking about? It's where you basically, you know, you're showing somebody you're rare, you like put your pants down and, right? Yeah. Or you flash them. That could actually could be. Yeah, it basically, um, you know, the whole bit, they said the lawyers generally can get you off of it, but um, by um, basically simply exposing yourself to attention won't support a California peanut food and decent exposure convention unless you do it with a lewd or sexually motivated intent. Nude sunbathing without any additional isn't considered indecent exposure. Mooning, there you're talking about, is not Oh, it's a not a violation. But. What? But. If, there's the trick, if, uh, what, if it basically engaged in a means of amusing, annoying, or offending other people, then it is a violation. Wait, wait, if it is, it's not, oh my word. No, it basically is, it's what, basically what it does, it means it's any, basically it's the, it's the technicality thing again. If it's done, you know, it, it is, if somebody is annoyed, annoyed, or offended, it's a violation. Wait, wait. This is similar. Mooning someone is not a violation because the courts have held that this conduct is not sexually motivated but is engaged in means of amusing, annoying, or affronting other people. Which is a oh, violation. Because, because you're sexually insulting or offending. That's right. And it is a violation. It's not illegal, but it is a violation. So that, it's the same as double talk. It means that you're going to get it. It means what happens is you go to court, you pay an ungodly amount of money, you pay a big fine, they did, they, you know, and uh, you get off the hook. The next time you go to jail. Mm -hmm. But they, everything has to do with the fact, um, you know, up to six months to county jail, $1,000 fine, everybody's a $1,000 fine. Now, but here's the big one. You face a lifetime duty to register as a sex offender. And that's right. That's, that's the, whole, the sad part. That everything, because that is the one thing that they're scared of. They've got... They're trying to get it off the book, the sex uh, Okay, here's the problem. We're in a debate. The same people that are issuing the citations are the same people that are trying to get people to come to the beach and spend money. Now, here's the aggravating part. Is there's something called an aggravated indecent exposure, which is if you expose yourself in an inhabited... You're, you li you're in your house. Yeah. You're in a trailer, right? Yep. Trailer, coach, or building. They, oh, it says that you enter without permission. Yeah. You commit aggravated and decent exposure. Basically, if, for instance, um, they, if you go to a beach house, you know, okay, we're, I used to do surf and sand things. If the, okay, the girls used to come into the, into the beach houses, which were rented, and they changed their swimsuits, you know, get all, change from one thing to another, that these didn't belong to the people that were getting naked in the places. See? Right. Well, we didn't give them permission to get naked. We just gave them permission to shoot in our house. See? That's how that oh. works. Is a, there's a kicker to everything. Remember, these are lawyers that write this stuff. Yeah, and that one is not just a year. It's 16 months, oh, 16 months or two or... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Go back. You no, know, no, it's a sex offender thing. I see. You know, we're trying to get this thing. It's all... It's, now that one's not one year, it's 16 months or two or threes in the California State Prison and up to $10,000 in fines. Yeah, because going into, the in people, the course going of into life. those places is then a felony, it's no longer a misdemeanor, so we were committing felonies. I mean, I do know, I mean, we did one of the surf and sand, really low budget thing, oh, and um, the, the twins who basically, their swimsuit bodies were only about this big to begin with, uh, they, they got caught changing clothes by the grandmother of the owner of the place, and she called the cops. What? Yeah, saying that there's there's some girls in here stripping naked in my uh, grandson's residence, and so the police all showed up. And you know because this 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 is 1960s, early 1960s. I know, and they were a lot freer. A lot freer, like... but no. But Grandma called and said there's a whole bunch of females and stripping naked in my grandson's residence. And they come up with the lights and everything, which they did incorporate into the movie. And then when they found out, they were shooting a movie here, and that's their dressing room. And they said, oh, you mean they weren't, 
You know, and they said, no, they weren't. They were changing so they could get ready for the next thing. And then it said the owner of the place knows. So they went and talked to the owner, and he said, my grandmother's a big, you know, remember, mm -hmm. that was a different era. You know, they said the police knew that, oh, yeah. So we, we got grandmothers like that, too. Mm -hmm. So then they, they but that's, that was the 1960s. Today, there is none of this. It's just go in and haul them out. So... But Those that, are some pretty stiff things. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to have California, we've already done the California state law on this one, haven't we? Actually, part. let's go back to that sex offender part. Well, you know, well, because the sex offender thing. The sex offender is actually really important because, yeah. first of all, remember they had those lists that they show all the sex offenders that are near schools, yeah. right? You put it in your house, you find out how many sex offenders are basically, in your area. Okay, basically, it should be noted that most licensed professional associations discipline their associates if they receive a conviction under the California sex offense that requires a sex offender registration. This is in the case for doctors, dentists, therapists, you know, I think school teachers. Uh, basically, however, a misdemeanor in decent exposure conviction sometimes acts as an exception to the rule. No. Basically, if you get hit, period. I mean, they, they laugh at it and then try to get, try to get employment. Oh gosh, so if you're a doctor, dentist, therapist, school actually, teachers, school teacher. You know, anything that is around the public. Oh, actually, you know, if you're filling out that application that says, have you ever been con yeah. uh, was it convicted of a felony? You have you ever been charged with a felony? You can't get a government job. And this, these are not felonies. These, what happens is people will ignore the fact that they got picked up on a citation for being at the beach in a proper clothes. They'll mm -hmm. ignore it. And not fill it in, then they've created a felony oh. by not saying that they are on the that they have been. A lot of people simply not even bothered. To well, and it. part of it is you may not realize it. No, because they only all they're told. Okay, what happens is a lot of the people they just pay the hundred. It's like parking tickets. You pay the hundred fifty dollar fine and don't worry about it. And then all of a sudden, they get clipped for something else. They get you know like a speeding ticket, and uh, you know what are you doing by this school? Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm just driving by the school. And I said, uh, you know, what are you doing by this school? You're, listed, you're on the sex offender list. I said, I'm not a sex offender. And then they go back to the thing and it says, you were convicted of, um, and, you know, exposing yourself on the beach. That thing. Oh, God. I mean, you're thinking, well, actually, that sounds really bad because part of it is you could actually get in trouble. Let's just give you a scenario. You got a sibling that has kids and they ask you to go pick them up from school yep. because they're running late at work. That's what I mean. You pick it and you get stopped by an officer of the law. For because, you, because you were in a hurry and you ran a red light yeah, or a stop sign or you're going too fast. Turn, or you're parking in an area that's not allowed to be parking in and because they, you don't use to it, you know that they, on a lot of school areas they basically don't let you make turns on those areas you have to go around. And you make a wrong turn? Yeah, because I've done that. I made, a, I made a right turn once into an area I didn't realize you couldn't make a turn in during the school hours. So, but they, they simply said, well, you're not from this area, so you don't know that, that like, you know, like from uh, 2 or to two. 4 o'clock you, you can't You can't turn. make a turn. Yeah, so I didn't know that, so I got off. But imagine a guy that doesn't realize that what he did on the beach was a no-no. Like these guys that wear these basically little uh, Australian-Brazilian bikini bottoms, if somebody gets offended on those, they really go after you. So. But you don't see them on the beaches anymore. Mm -hmm. So you find out the hard way that you're on a list, you know, and you know, you, 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 and, and they get very uppity about that around schools and stuff. Ooh, they do. It's yep. like I wouldn't even want to be there. Yeah. I mean, part of it is the point about going to the beach is to have fun. As you notice, sunbathing kind of falls into this gray area because you're just... Well, I know. Okay, sunbathing, okay. Um, I mean, uh, every female I ever know has a tendency to turn over with their top off mm -hmm. because they turn over and then put the top back on. But there's that time when they don't have a top on. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is have somebody over here or over there, or up there somewhere, said that she's uh, flaunted her, her nudity on the beach. Mm -hmm. And they have to do the job, because you've had the complaint. The people that file the complaint don't have to hang around, folks. They can just call and make the complaint, and you get it. The state... <laughs>